flying mice? As he ventured through the maze of sewer tunnels, he sniffed the damp air and heard faint squeaks. Suddenly, wings flapped against his face. Ghostly creatures flew through the dark. They looked like mice with tiny eyes and huge ears, but they flew with powerful black wings. The little mouse carefully studied the strange flying relatives and then scurried home. had an idea. He would find a way to fly, too. How else to reach America? First, he collected scraps of wood, shreds of newspaper, string, and glue. Then he began the construction of two large wings and a tiny fin. At last, the mouse decided to test his invention in a vast hall where there were no risky winds, just countless puffing monstrosities collecting swarms of passengers. The little mouse climbed, leapt, and flew. He swung through the air for a moment. Then he tumbled and plunged toward the ground at alarming speed. Choo-choo! The small pilot rolled off the tracks, only barely avoiding the heavy, crushing wheels. He sat and looked at the huge, steaming machines. Eureka! That was it! Steam! Perhaps that was what his contraption needed. This time, his construction was much more complicated. The mouse used many tiny components, gears taken from watches, lighters, small metal housings, and screws. A steam-powered flying mouse. But now the mouse's machine had too much power. It spun and rotated out of control. It needed wings and rudders. For weeks, the clever mouse tinkered with his design. His scavenger hunts for building materials broadened, and little by little, a new flying machine grew amid a pile of odds and ends. This new machine was impressive. A small boiler filled with water produced steam. Pumping pistons moved the cog wheels and a propeller spun at the end. Every time the mouse tested the engine, the propeller unleashed a storm and blew away his plans and papers. The tiny inventor was more confident than ever. An actual flight to America seemed within his reach. crashed, and discovered. Unfortunately, the flying machine was now too heavy. When the little aviator sensed he was about to crash, he cut himself free and tumbled to the cobblestones below. He dragged his ruined machine away and went into hiding. But his secret was out. The next day, pictures of the sky-storming rodent was splashed across all the city's newspapers. Hamburg's flying mouse spotted... Everyone wondered what the little daredevil would do next. All eyes were now on the lookout for the winged rodent. Eyes of all kinds. Flying Boxes and Fierce Persecutors The little mouse was more determined than ever. 
he started on a new design with wheels for easier starts and safer landings, broad wings, and a powerful engine. This would be a proper plane with space for food, supplies, spare parts, and fuel. But when the mouse ventured out at night to gather parts, he sensed he was being followed. He heard soft whooshes in the dark sky above and saw strange silhouettes on the rooftops. The mysterious figures reappeared night after night, inching closer to the mouse hideaway. After a short time, the owls began glaring directly at the mouse through the window of his workshop. They took turns keeping watch, and soon the cats began to circle. <laughs> 